Okay, so we are supposed to write a polynomial in factored form um, that goes along with this graph that is shown. So first of all, let's be aware of where the zeros are. All right, we have a zero here and we have a zero here. Those are the only two zeros. So since I have a zero at x, uh, sorry, at negative one, that means I'm gonna have a factor of x plus one. And because I have a zero at positive one, that means I'm gonna have a factor of x minus one. Now, we have learned that um, the graph behaves differently depending on the multiplicity of the factor. Is it a single, a double, or a triple? Um, if it's just a single factor, the graph just goes straight through that particular zero. But if it's a double, the graph bounces off that zero like this. And if it's a triple, the graph does an inflection. So it sort of curves its way in and then curves its way out on the opposite side. All right, and it curves the opposite way. So you might say it sort of flattens out and then continues on through. So um, you have to have that memorized. So looking back at this, um, at this first zero at negative one, this is gonna be a bounce, okay? Um, so a bounce means that um, that factor must be multiplicity two, it must be a uh, squared. So since there's a bounce at negative one, all right, and that came from a factor of x plus one, then um, this is gonna have to be squared. All right, now this x minus one came from a zero of positive one. This is an inflection. See how it sort of flattens out and then keeps going? Um, this is an inflection, so we learned that at an inflection, um, that happens when you have a multiplicity two on the fact, I'm sorry, multiplicity three on the factor. So um, this is gonna have to be cubed. Um, the last thing we have to worry about is whether or not to put a negative sign in front of here. Um, now, um, when you have a graph, when you have a function that is even degree, the end behavior either goes like this or like this. And this is the positive version and this is the negative version. Um, clearly that's not what's happening here because we have one arm down and one arm up. So this must be the situation where we're dealing with an odd degree function, and which matches what we have here. All right, we have two of these, three of these. Um, we're looking at a degree of five, which is definitely odd. So when you have an odd function, the end behavior is either gonna be like this, or the end behavior is gonna go like this, all right? Um, if it's like this, where it starts low and ends high, um, that's the positive version, all right? I sort of picture a capital letter N, and that's gonna be a positive version. If it starts high and ends low, that's the negative version. All right, so um, which one of these four situations are we in? Well, we started low and ended high. Um, so that means we are dealing with this situation right here. Um, which is the positive version. So for that reason, we don't need to put a negative sign on here. All right, I think I'll just call it f of x. Um, anyway, that's the answer to number 19. So number 20. All right, so same thing. So I see we have a zero at zero, and we have another one at two. Okay, when you have a zero at zero, um, you might be tempted to put like x minus zero or something like that, but that would be very silly because um, x minus zero is just x. Okay, and if all you have is x, we really don't even need the parentheses. Okay, so when I see I have a zero at zero, I'm just gonna put x. And now I have a zero at two, 
that's going to come from the factor of x minus 2. All right, see how they're sort of opposites. So those are my only two zeros. Um, now this one just goes straight through. Um, so I'm just going to leave that with no powers. This one is a bounce. And we remember that when you have a bounce, that's multiplicity 2. Um, so that's why this one should be squared. So again, we have to ask ourselves, do we need a negative sign in front of here? Well, this has the same end behavior as the last problem. It starts low and ends high. It has the end behavior of this odd positive function. Um, so we'll just leave it positive. We don't need a negative in front of it. So that's the answer to number 20.